Hey guys, it's Mr. Gary coming to you with story time with Mr. Gary. That's me, Mr. Gary. Uh, every week I read a book. We've read well over a hundred books already, guys. All of them you could go on POAC Autism Services on YouTube. They're all listed there. Uh, this one I'm recording for you because I'm actually away um, on a trip with Christopher for the first time since 2007. So we're just getting away for a couple days, just uh, him and daddy. Um, so I want to read to you today, Dr. Seuss, the man, myth, the legend. What pet should I get? A uh, real cute little book that most of us probably haven't heard before from Dr. Seuss. So there's the pet store. We want a pet. We want a pet. What kind of pet should we get? And look. Ooh, that's a nice little kitty with the bow. Now, Dad said we could have one. Dad said he would pay. So we went to the pet shop. I went there with Kay. And so we went in. Oh, they went in. Because Daddy's paying. Oh. I took one fast look. And I saw a fine dog who shook hands. So we shook. So I said, I want him. Well, that's a good looking dog. Oh, but look over here. But then Kay saw a cat and she gave it a pat. And she said, I want that. And Pay said, now, what do you think we should do? Dad said, pick one. We can't take home two. Uh-oh. They're both really, really good pets over there. What should they do? I don't know. Then what do you know? We saw two other kinds. Now how could Kay and I make up our minds? So there's another little dog and another little cat. Now who can like make up their mind like that? A pup and a kitten, they look like good fun. Now which one should we pick? We could only pick one. I don't know. It's kind of exciting. Which I wonder what they're going to pick. So make up your mind. Look at that. <laughs> the cat or the dog, the kitten or the pup. Oh, boy. Is it something to make a mind up? And they're struggling. But look, they're all so cute. And they're so adorable. Kind of like my puppy in the background, if you hear Lily barking. She's a 12 year old puppy. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Gary's fingers are too big. Then I looked all around and I saw something with wings and I said, look at him. We can pick one that sings. And the bird was singing. But then, oh, look over there, said my sister Kay. We can go home with a rabbit today. The choices they have. It's an amazing thing. Get so happy. I want to sing. Then I looked at Kay and I said, what will we do? I like all the pets I see. So do you. We have to pick one pet and pick it out soon. You know mother told us to be back by noon. So, uh-oh. They have a dilemma. They have so many incredible pets to choose from, and they can only allow one pet. I could have done it. I could have, I bet. I could have said, what pet should we get? But you know what Kay did? Oh, no. What do you think Kay did? Now, who's watching the story right now? I bet Anthony's watching it, and Riley, and Connor, ER, and Connor, OR, and Pono. Adrian and Rose. I love the name Rose. Love, oh look, without my glasses, Rose. <laughs> when Rose saw me in person without my glasses, she was like, Mr. Gary, where are your glasses? Um, Sky and Skyling and Jaden and Victor and Aiden and whoever else, Maya, Mia, Tommy, who else watches my stories? I think most of you watch the stories. So where were we? What did Kay do? I don't know. I got to turn my pages. I'm excited to see. Oh, no. 
you know what she did? She said, fish, 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 fish. It may be a fish is the pet that we wish. And the fish are like, oh, yeah, come on, come on. Even though that one looks a little scary. I don't like that one right there. He looks a little, a little, looks a little menacing, I think. But come on. So you got birds and cats and dogs and puppies and kittens. and oh, What other pet is out here? Then I saw a new kind, and they were so good, too. How could I pick one? Now what should we do? We could only pick one. That is what my dad said. But how could I make up that mind in my head? Because, look, you had all the Canadian monkeys. Those are special Canadian monkeys. They're really good in the snow. And there's fish and birds and puppies and cats and things with wings and rabbits, make up your mind. Uh, make up your mind. Pick a pet fast. Pick one out soon. Mother and dad said to be home by noon. Well, guys, there's only like two more pages, I think. Book's almost over. I wonder what's going to happen. I'm kind of excited. You know what? I've never read this book before, so I don't know what's going to happen either. So we're finding out at the same time. Oh, the time may be now to make up my mind, but who knows what other good fet pets I might find. Oh, look at that one. I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing who would fly around my head in a ring on a string. Yes, that would be fun, but her house is so small that thing on a string would bump, bump into the wall. My mother, I know, would not like that at all. Well, that's kind of cool, though. <gasps> My mom wouldn't like that, all that bumping around. It might pull your hair out, too. <gasps> Look at this one. Look how huge that is. So maybe some other good kind of pet. Another kind, maybe, is what we should get. We might find a new kind, a pet who is tall, a pet who fits in a space that is small. Oh, look at that little tiny one. My mother might like this pet best of all. I don't know, guys. There's only three more pages. If we had a big tent, then we would be able to take home a yet. It has to be a pretty big tent for a yank, I get. Dad would like us to have a good yank, but how do I know he would pay for such a tent? So you see how it is when you pick out a pet. How can you make up your mind what to get? But, and look at that yank. Look how big that yank is. Kind of cool. looks a little cold, though. And look, there they are. Maya and Tommy are up in the window. Two more pages. That's it. And then we find out. What if we took one of each kind of pet? Then our, home, our house would be filled of the pets we would get. No, dad would be mad. We can only have one. If we do not choose, we will end up with none. So now look, they got turtles and thingamy jigs and owls and big cats and yents and dents and everything. So what pet do you think they picked? I'm not gonna show you yet. It's on the next page right over here, right over there. I will do it right now. I will do it, I said. I will make up the mind that is up on my head. The dog or the rabbit, the fish or the cat, I picked out one fast, and that was just that. And do you want to see what he picked? You sure? I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Oh, there it is. Oh, so look, he really doesn't tell you. <laughs> you just see kind of eyes out there. So it could almost be anything that he picked, which I kind of liked. Because we can use our imagination and pretend what kind of pet we would like. So my question to all of you out there is what pet would you pick if you could have 
any pet in the world. I picked my little Lily. That was my pet. And she's around here somewhere, but she's not coming up. So, guys, next week's going to be the last book for the summer because we're so busy doing surfing and barbecues and carnivals and bounce houses and swimming that people are taking a break off books in the summer. So we're going to start again in September, but next week's our last book um, for for um, May. And the book is my personal favorite book of all time. The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This book is awesome. So funny. One of my favorite, not one of, my favorite book to read. I absolutely love this book. But the very strange thing is the book has no pictures. So how do you read a book where they have no pictures? You have to turn in next week to see Mr. Gary try. So it's going to be awesome. Please don't miss this one. You're going to love it. And oh, look who's here. It came for a visit. Our old Miss Lily. <laughs> hey, Lily. Lily's been coming out to most of the POAC events to say hi to everybody. Hey, right, Lily. There she is. Everybody likes to see Lily. I think more than Mr. Gary sometimes. So we will see you soon, Lily. Say goodbye. Bye. That's at least saying goodbye. So we will see you next week when Mr. Gary be back live, reading to you live the book with no pictures. So until then, this is Mr. Gary and Miss Lily saying bye for now. Bye, guys. Love you. <laughs>